I like to get drunk and get completely naked and like cut myself and paint things and bleed and piss on the painting and stuff. And I have a great, I haven't done that in a while by the way, but I love to do that. But the art itself is usually kind of shit. I mean, it looks unique and interesting, but anybody who sees it always says, oh, interesting, stick with the music. I got my first camera, which was uh, my dad got me a Sony um, Digital 8 camcorder, which I think is still over there. Technically, the first like feature film that I made was in high school, and it was this terrible two and a half hour incomprehensible thing. It was sort of this thing where it's like trauma became the dream and also the bar. Billy Joel is one of my favorite songwriters, although uh, his catalog is kind of sucks. My favorite directors, obviously, um, you know, are Robert Zemeckis, um, Joe Dante, Steven Spielberg, uh, Scorsese. My favorite movies are Habitat, Existence. Clue, the movie, based on the board game, and uh, Hackers. We were making music videos, and then I just really liked the idea of making these idiotic short films, which I don't know if you've seen any, like Garlic Bag, 100 Dwayne Reed Bags. Hecht and Knife was one of the short films that we made, and we loved the footage so much that we wanted to do more, and it just sort of evolved. And about a month into that is when I knew, okay, this is a movie. I loved wearing makeup, I loved acting like an idiot, and I always go all out in terms of like, giving it my all on camera. That's just me, you know, to me anything short of that is like, why'd you even do it? <laughs> we shot every Monday for like 15 weeks in a row. I mostly like doing the production stuff. I like the pre-production. That's not true exactly. Actually, I don't, I don't like it. I like when it all comes together and is done well. I want the people to actually show up. The shoots were a lot of fun. We had a tiny crew. Sometimes it was just me and Pete and then one actor. So you can write anything you want. A little monster gremlin demon comes out, rips a girl's eyes out, and then is fucking the eye sockets and comes blood and musical notes all over the place. And now when it comes to, if, if Greg said, let's shoot that on Saturday, I don't think I'd be doing anything between now and Saturday other than figuring out how on earth are we going to do this. There's one shoot where I was, you know, awake for like two days before this and I had to shoot Hector Knife and it was this all day thing and it was so exhausting and that actually turned into the bagel scene which is exhausting in itself. My typical Saturday morning was to uh, watch a bunch of trauma movies that I had ordered from the website, go on the trauma uh, message board at the time and hit on chicks and stuff. and. Uh, eat Thai food and just watch them all day long. I think I said in the email, um, you know, hey Lloyd, I took your advice, I made my own damn movie, it's got a bunch of blood babes and bagels, and I think it'd be up your alley. And he responded, he said, Hector Knife is the story of my life, send it or whatever, and we'll get back to you. So about a, less than a week later, I heard back from one of their interns, we want to send you the contract. And right from there, it was, that was it. I consider it uh, an honor to know Lloyd and to, have our thing be part of their thing.